All right, so we are going to start with a, uh, the new framework that, that PUP we're doing, PUP TMD framework. Um, you're going to get a folder called My First PUP, My First PUP TMD. Um, and I guess there's so much, I, I, Astro, how much do you know about PUPs? Maybe you're like the best person to ask. I, I'm familiar with how to edit them. I do have okay. no idea how to build them. Cool. Does that make all sense? Right. Yeah. Like I know so, how to force screens back and forth right. and change volumes so, and all that. All right. I'm going to give you a two-minute rundown. Um, uh, we're going to first make, we'll make sure we're setting up for three screen. So these will already be here. This is exactly pretty much a template of, of what you will get with your My First Pup DMD. Um, and I'm going to go to edit this pup pack. Okay. So I pretty much have what I believe to be all the requirements you need for a pup DMD. Um, you'll see a lot of offs as optional, but really what we're going to have is we're going to have the back glass and we're going to set that to force on because we're in a three screen here where full DMD is on its own. Back glass has its own screen. So that's why we're in that mode. So we have back glass on uh, full DMD. We force that to the back uh, four and six. We set to music only. Right, so those are hidden and they're just going to be music channels. One's for music, one's for callouts. Now, sometimes maybe you want a third or fourth track for audio. Don't know. I set them off, but you can use them. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to have two other pups. Okay, and hopefully this is explanatory. One is a pop under HUD and pop over HUD. And what that means is uh, when you play media on a, a pop under HUD, It'll keep the pop overlay in the text and play the video behind, right, in that layer. And then you have a pop over HUD, which will play a video over everything. Okay. Now, when you're using, you're only allowed to use pups 11 to 19. Uh, that's for your, for pup DMDs. The other ones are popper and they're fixed to the user settings. Now, when you do use 11 to 19, you need to use what are called custom pose. Uh, what custom pose is, is it tells you where you want to grab its its uh, display settings from. So the first number is the pup ID number. Now again, these are just these have nothing to do with screens or positions. These are all to do with virtual pup displays. So uh, it's going to say uh, use five as the original um, source of settings, and then you have four numbers. The first two numbers are position. The next two numbers are width and height. So we want to say use display five location settings and we want to start at zero, zero. That's the X and Y. And we want to make it use up 100% of the screen width wise and 100% height wise. So if I wanted to use a little bit in the middle, I could use 5%, 5% for the X and Y and then 95% and 95%. And that would make this pup kind of fit within a 5% border around the screen. Does that make sense? And then that's, and then the specifying screen five is to use the user settings for screen yeah, five? Yeah, exactly. So where they have their full DMD set, because obviously right. okay. we don't know where it's going. And we don't, so... Um, and it's going to maximize it to whatever it oh, is. Correct, correct. All right. So, and this is really all you need. I know I see pup packs and they have like, or pup DMDs, they have like all these other pups. And I think they're just trying to, they don't understand all the features that you can get. But technically, this gives you three video players. You have the video player that's playing on the full DMD. You have a under HUD and an over HUD. The reason why you have an under HUD is, uh, and I'll explain to you when we get into these sample triggers, actually. So let's go into the sample triggers. And I left these sample triggers so you could see how, and, and I guess once you see how these work, everything else should be self-explanatory. So I'm actually gonna go to the testing and start the pack. Okay, and now when you start the pack on the upper right here, it's the full DMD and the upper left is the back glass. Okay, now you'll notice because we have what are called D0s, um, trigger D0s are called startup triggers. They get triggered right at startup and you want to make sure all these all these pup events are done in chronological order as you see them. So you want to make sure like you'll see that D0, I description, I called it whatever I wanted, startup pup DMD. And so um, I set screen five and I told it to play a track and I set back glass. And then uh, the startup HUD for the overlay, the HUD. You see Terry did this nice HUD for F14. Um, that's going to always be in the pup overlays playlist and it's going to be a 32-bit transparent uh, PNG. All right. 
Uh, and then the other one is the back glass startup. We sold it to, we told it to start and played that media. We set it to back glass and those are active. So that's the D0. So we got the D0s, the pub pack is started. Now we haven't even talked about pub DMD. Pub DMD is when we start putting text, uh, our own control labels, which can be text or objects. But right now we're just still focusing entirely on pups, pup packs and pups. Okay, um, so here, so let me start by showing you D2. Now, what is D2? Right now, uh, when we're doing a, a pup DMD, we just call a, a sub in TableScript called pup event 2. It's just a generic number. We use 0 to 999. So, well, it can't use 0 because it's a startup trigger. But we use D2. That's because somewhere in the TableScript, we called one sub called pup event space 2. That means we come to here and it'll fire off trigger two. Now you can have multiple triggers, like you can have multiple separate triggers all act on D2. You could fire something on the back glass, play a song, stop this, pop that. So you can have D2 multiple times. Um, but so what we did is called pup event two. Now in pup packs, what is D2? Uh, with pup packs, D2 is frame matching. So you know, like when a ROM based frame comes and you say, oh, uh, this is the uh, jackpot mode based on frame matching. Or the, you know, but that's I don't want to get into pub captures. But in general, um, D2 will either come from in original tables. D2 will come from uh, a pub event two in table script, or if you're doing a ROM pub pack, it'll come based on the uh, the Freezy pub frame matching engine. Okay, does that make enough sense there? Any questions there for the the triggers? So I am just going to I'm gonna you'll notice I just highlighted uh, D2. And it's a sample normal, and it's going to be a uh, screen five. So I'm just going to fire event and see what that did. That is actually using the main full DMD pup five media player. Now, when I fire and play something, you'll notice that it'll automatically return back to your background video. Um, so in this mode, you really want to make sure your your I guess your your full DMD your background video is a is a looping doesn't matter if it restarts because it restarts each time I fire something because obviously the media changed and then it, it started back right um, that's why we go to the next level if we didn't want it to restart so we can continue playing it but what we're gonna do is we're gonna have there's pup eleven and pup twelve wait wait before you go yeah. on so. What you fired was a full screen video with the text. It wasn't just an overlay of the text. No, yeah, exactly. That stuff. This it is another thing. Clip. Yeah, exactly, and, and that's probably for me. That's the best way to do things. See, like the fire there. Um, it, yeah, all it, of that was. That, that's in a part. Video. That's part of the MP4. You can do so much better text art than than Pup ever could, right? Um, but Pup is good for dynamic text, uh, other PNGs, animated PNGs, stuff like that. Um, well, I was going to ask is, what if you had a transparent background? In what sense? Like, in, like instead, of, um, instead of doing it as an overlay on a video, could you just do it as an MP4 and either key it out or... No, no, there's, the, there's, no, um, there's no transparent MP4, no. There's no way to do that. No, no, no. Um, the, that would be in the, uh, again, VPE changes everything because it'll all be done differently. But yeah, there's no um, support for Alpha 30. And, and 32 bit uh, Alpha videos are a whole nother thing. Um, could it be done if, if I hooked into VLC and grabbed the things? Uh, yes, but you would probably be taking 30 or 40% of the CPU. You got to remember that some of the design things are done because of the lack of CPU I mean, if and had... GPU. Do but you know like I mean? if it had a solid green background, you couldn't just key out the green? Uh, you you can't, no. Okay. I, well, you currently you can't in PUP. Could I grab frames, process them myself, and, and then draw the bitmap transparent on top of a form? Yes. Could you do that in PUP with, you know, only t keeping, you know, 10 to 15% max resources? No. All right. Um but uh, but uh, we support now in the new pup uh, animated PNGs, and that can be transparent. And we support animated GIFs. Like you saw today, the animated GIF thing I yeah, showed yeah, you. Yeah. You know, so I mean, you could do small animations uh, that are green screen. So animated PNGs and animated GIFs work well that way. But uh, yeah, 
let's get back to where I was. Where was I? Okay, so uh, the D2 we fired, it changed the main video playing, and then it rolled back to the background loop. So your background loop should be like a, a nice little generic background looping. Um, all right, so the other options. So now if we have, um, I want to show you this other option. Uh, there's two two other options. Notice in D3. Uh, do you notice the beginning of the MP4 has the uh, at symbol? Do you see that little at symbol? Uh, yeah. that, that at symbol means uh, hide the HUD during playing of this video and then return afterwards. So I'm going to fire. Ah. And what that did, and when it's finished, it went back right. with the HUD. That's cool. So see what I mean? So any so that that'll do that when you play the at symbol on screen five. Now that's fine as long as you realize your your background is being reset each time you do that, which is fine for most MP4s. Because really you, you want your background. Some it depends whether or not you want your your background video to be important and stay at a certain spot, and that's where the next phase comes in. Uh, let's say you're like, no, I have a long music video playing in the background. I don't want to reset it every time. Um, that's where we go to uh, 11 and 12. Um, with 11 and 12, hey Terry, how's it going? Uh, with 11 and 12, so 11 is a pop under and 12 is a pop over. So when I hit fire 11, see the ball save afterburner? It stayed under the HUD. Right. But the video in the background continued playing. It's still playing. It's just being covered by another player. Right. Do you see that? So why wouldn't you just always do that? Why would you? Um, I guess performance, uh, and maybe you don't need to. I'm just saying it was very clear that the video was resetting every time. Well, no, that was a really poor choice for a background video. Normally, a background video would be a, a, a looping type of thing that wouldn't yeah. matter where it started or stopped, right? It really like depends. Like, like maybe it's like one picture and it's just glowing here and there and sparkles here and there. No, I get you. Like, you yeah, know. like on Die Hard, we made a looping. It's just a scrolling yeah. like, background of the posters that you'd never notice. Exactly. It really, but, yeah. But again, but, if you wanted to not reset, that's fine. I mean, this is common to do the under pops, right? Well, I also forgot that it's Terry, so of course he picked a terrible background video. <laughs> No, I did that. I think he has a total. No, he has a cool <laughs> background video. Never mind. He has that that HUD. Anyways. Uh, okay, and then we have uh, 12, which is a pop over. Now, 12 pops over. Now, same video, and what it did is it popped over the HUD and the labels. Right. So, yeah, that makes sense. Like, that just seems like, why wouldn't you use that? Unless it's a really bad performance hit. No, no, it's not. So, yeah, here we go. So, th and that's... Uh, sorry? I caught my mic. Yeah, I was going to ask a question, but I'll let you finish two seconds first. Uh, no, go ahead. Go ahead. I was just going to ask, so like, you know the pop under? That doesn't cover your labels or anything. It just... Correct. We're just... I haven't even got the labels yet, but yeah, when it comes to the pup packs, um, your labels are part of the HUD. That's on the same layer, let's call it. There's a transparent uh, alpha image there that's being built dynamically in real time. So that's part of the same, uh, that's part of the same. So uh, that under, if you had labels uh, with scoring, that, that would, the labels of scoring would still be there. Uh, right. Now the at symbol does not, uh, the at symbol does not work on 11 and 12 because in 11 and 12 don't have overlays. Only five has overlays. So uh, the fighter jet, when you play it on five, will do that. Alrighty, so and I mean that is the essence of a pup pack there, Astro. With this, you can just you know, let's say uh, someone else did the pup captures for you and said, okay, here's the 82 pup captures, all the events in a ROM that happen. Uh, there's this jackpot, that jackpot, and really you're just working on triggers. Where it gets complicated is when you have priorities and say you get a jackpot when you're in a non another mode and whatnot. And then yeah. you have some small play actions where you like you may want to stop the player or stop a certain file, you know, like say, oh, if if event comes in, stop this file, play this file. But really, uh, at the end of the day, uh, that's eighty percent of the work. Uh, whether it's pub DMD or or not, your 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 the video aspect layer of it is all in in those modes. 
Right, because you would never need more than three layers, essentially. Yeah, I don't see why you would need more than three layers. No. Now, if but what if you wanted? So if so, how would you add another uh, video background? Like, let's say you changed to a different mode, and you wanted a different video background for that mode. You could still use the same. Yeah. Well, the thing is, five green. five is set as background, which means it'll always loop once the current player so if i were to make a new trigger right so i go new trigger and call it i don't know i'm i'm in uh, i don't know multi ball mode multi ball and it's going to be d d8 um uh, mm -hmm. now you said you want to do it on screen 5 well that's i was just asking that's how you would do it so you would yeah. just set it to the screen and then you would say then... uh, i don't know uh, you would i don't have uh but then you would give it a higher priority, so it wouldn't. Well, you actually you don't need to backlash. Background video has pretty much nothing, right? But yeah, I I think I think background video is always like negative zero because it never really you're never gonna want to stop playing, or sorry, you always want to interrupt the background video because that's the lowest priority. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you uh, could... I think I can answer part of what he's asking. Hello, it's me. Oh. <laughs> Is he hear me? Yeah, uh, the set BG. Uh, if we're talking strictly visually on the pop pack, like he's showing. Uh, you can issue another set BG to change what the background looping video is if you go into a different mode. So, like, if you look at, I don't know, like any, any of my normal pop pack transformers, it's a perfect example. You know, uh, when I would change to, uh, you know, uh, the Autobots or Decepticons, for example, you know, that would change what the background animation could have been or or any of my newer stuff. You know, like say Sonic or whatever. If I'm in a different game mode, you'll see the background changes to a different looping video, and uh, I just use Set BG for that. Yeah, that's uh, Set BG just means loop it, right? Because if you just wanted to play it once and then go back to the background, then you would set it to normal. But if you want to like set the background as the new background, then you obviously yeah the play action right. would be Set BG. And then because you would have a you would have a command in the script for when the mode ends to go back. Correct. To the other trigger. Gotcha. Correct. Correct. Yeah. You can you can do that either through direct script commands, pup script commands, uh, like the framework has, uh, and David's put easier helper functions for that, or you could just trigger a pup pack to do it as well. I, I've done mixes of both. You know, yeah, the, like you have stop you player here and stop time. file, like stop player and yeah. stop file here as well. You could put another command. But I mean, if you're doing like an original, this this is where ROMs and originals, because yeah. once you have script control, you can really you know stop yourself. You can call loops yourself. You don't have to use set BG yeah. and right. But sometimes um, maybe you have multiple people working, uh, and and you want you want you know the the, the the table author just to do as many pup events as possible where you're working on the pup uh, video layer music audio callouts all that so you you guys can be working you know in parallel and sometimes you know there's a there's an advantage to that and you would be proud of Scampa because there's only four screens in the entire diehard right pack. Like that's uh, that's uh, Terry came later, but this is really what I would say is is all you need. Uh, so this will be the this is a template. My first pup DMD. Um, you get the back glass. We're in a full DMD uh, three screen mode. So we have force on for back glass. We have full DMD backup, uh, force back, and then two musics with two more optional ones, and then we have a pop under HUD and a pop over HUD. That's it. it really yeah, if, is... you look at, if you look at any of my newer stuff, you'll see that it's down to like one maybe two pup displays compared to the old days of pup packs or whatever like that you know like uh if you're talking an original table y you can get away with a lot of the you know the the extra displays uh depending on your design obviously if you're mm -hmm. gonna have say separate smaller like say windowed videos that are kind of looping or going you know like a batman 66 or something like that that's going to be a different story you know what i mean because you, you you have separate actual videos that are required for that but if, if you look at you know, like any of my pen event stuff, like it's, yeah, it's, it's one display and it usually can handle all of it depending on, you know, how you want to do it. But if you want the extra custom separate stuff, that's all independent. Uh, that's the only time you really need the extra displays, but these newer options also are also adding lots of cool stuff too. So depends on how fancy you want to get. But. Yeah. Unless you get, yeah, unless you get into picture in picture stuff where you're going to be showing, you know, sub, there's really no needs for a lot more displays. Um, 
There's one. Oh, there's one idea. I, I think I think I showed you last time where uh, an alpha blended video layer. Yeah, that's you, what I was thinking of. It's like if you want to use like say alphas and stuff. Like uh, do that, you guys you know? see the chat in the Discord? Because it's still there for me. I don't know if you guys still see it. Uh, when you uh, say the, the, the chat, the, you mean the group chat? If you bring out the group chat of this group oh, chat we're in, I'm, I'm does it still show you my video from last uh, group chat? I don't know. I see. Yeah, I can roll back retro Greek Herbert. The one with the fighter jet. Yeah. Do you see the fighter jet with the alpha blend? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Astro? Oh, in the top, in the top right there. Yeah. Yeah, the top right. If you go into the open chat, yeah. do you see uh, my fighter jet? Astro. What? What? Astro. <laughs> at the top right, open up your group chat, like so you can see the chat settings. My God. Yes. Okay, do you see my fighter jet with the lightning yeah. over it? Yeah, I saw it last time. Yeah, yeah, that's no, what I'm saying. So that that is a special pup. Like that's the reason why you would make maybe a, a, a pup 17. That is just a pop over everything. That is uh, that's a special Very low level sweet. thing where you set it to alpha blend 30. percent So that um. Yeah. So it's, you know the... No, go ahead. Go ahead. On um, you know the pop over. Uh, well, that sample pop over. Yep. You know, as you've got the like, custom positions on the screens section, could you, like, say, you know, where your little green cutout bar is at the bottom? Could you make a video that was that size and then use that custom position to display the video in that little area? Does that make sense? Well, yeah. Like, you could make a Pup 14 be like just the top left. It could pop it, up, you, you could, like like a picture in picture on your TV. Grant Transformers pop back is a good example of that, where the bottom corners, actually all the corners have separate pop displays for separate videos that change on their own, and they each use a custom position. So, the, so, the, so the idea is that the custom position is ideal, so that you have your main display to reference to. So, in this case, you know, like a full a full DMD is our main display. And then you can use any other pup display with a custom position to size itself in reference to your main display. So five is the main display in this case. Uh, but you, you would have the smaller corner uh, videos that are just going to be set in that custom position. Like if you want it, like if you had a, a transparent PNG overlay with two openings and you wanted like two different videos playing in the yeah, like I, I could just once. do like a, a force. like doesn't Iron Iron Man does that, doesn't it? Like it doesn't it have like two areas playing two different. Videos I think I, I think I think it does. Yeah, like I could do this and and, and show like uh, I go I'll I'll, I'll I'll go use the uh, let, let's use a little bit of the back glass, right? And I'll make it forty percent, forty percent. So here we're gonna use a bit of two, Aaron. Um, we're going to have a, a, we'll do a force on at that point, just to keep it on. Hey, Terry. That probably uh, solve the issues I had last night, you know, in the, right. the help channel. That was, if you could do that, that'd help. Listen, her. nothing can help those issues that you had last night, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what number did I make it? Pup 16. So I'll make it 16, and we'll just call it uh, back glass pip. And uh, we'll um, I'll do. Hey, Terry, know. quick question. Yeah. What do you What do you do your um, text overlays in in um, After Effects? Uh, I, I have numerous different programs, but you know, uh, I mean, I have a cheap ass, you know, Video Studio, which is like Corel, basically. <laughs> you know, uh, I've I've used that for so many of them, but I also use the same one that uh, Frank uh Trojan shell you know uh uses uh that's a uh, new titler pro uh that's nice for really nice text animated effects and all that because it's it's built for that uh so you use that to generate the 3d text uh or whatever effects you want uh and then it outputs it to like a an mov and then you just overlay that to whatever background you want for a video in another editor basically titler uh, pro 7 uh, I think it's a uh, new blue titler titler pro uh, is it seven new blue fx dot com uh, yeah, yeah new blue titler pro yeah that's it 
Davinci Resolve's pretty good as well. It's free also. Yeah, I my, my I had a lot of good text art too. I got there was a humble bumble. Hum humble bundle? Humble humble hum, bumble. Yeah, <laughs> humble humble bundle. <laughs> and, humble bubble. And it had it, it had like video studio in it and all this other stuff and some of the text art that it does and text so, and stuff. So if you can set custom screens and stuff on the back class like that, then in theory you could make a pup act just like a B2S. Uh, yes. Yes. Sort of. But yes, I actually, actually it's funny I had this coffee because now that we do yeah. alpha blending with PNG, yeah. the new version. Things have changed. <laughs> yeah, things have changed now with the alpha blending and, and, and being able to do. It's like that Transformers one is just, a, it's just a looping, a looping thing. But, but like, yeah, if, if you baked, like, because uh, Gadank. Yeah, and a, I don't know how to say his name, but <laughs> the table we're working on, he's baking a B2S back class. But if he baked all the different light um, conditions, then you could set them as well. No, now you can. Now we have um, the new B2S, uh, the new B2S, the new Pup DMD does alpha blending with uh, with labels and stuff like that. So you can actually, and it has alpha, so you can set lights on and off type of thing, or you can fake bake right. it and fake lights on top and. That's what I'm saying. If he's he's baking it anyway, then yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I might so, end up doing that with the Die Hard then. Yeah, yeah. So okay, so do you see? So, so David, yep. Uh, for so for that, uh, that would be ideally better for the, the a B2S type recreation scenario. Would it be better to use uh, labels for that? So that way you could use as many as you want versus independent pup displays. Because then you could have like numerous APNGs or whatever on one singular pup display, and you just add whatever numerous labels you want. To yeah, that no. I, like, if you were going to use the new pup DMD to do a, a, yeah. a B2S, you definitely would just. Um, I mean, you would just use a PNG, I assume, as the background. Yeah. And then you would just do label images. Yeah. With fake baking, fake lighting now with alpha. Or even like how B2S Designer does, it kind of has overlay, um, has like cutouts for the lights yeah. and stuff. So you could do it that way as well. Yeah, um, it's important to understand the difference between uh, like the uh, labels versus pop displays. Uh, a pop a pop display is a VLC window. Right. Just just that's all. Remember that that's extremely important. Uh, so something like the, my Transformers pop pack uh, has uh, one, two, three, four, five six VLC windows playing separate videos at all times with uh, an overlay, but an overlay is not a VLC window. That's a separate pup window altogether. Whereas uh, uh, labels with pup DMD for like the fancier score text and all that, that's different because that's using a completely different form. It has nothing to do with VLC, uh, the, the APNGs, the GIFs, none of that uses VLC at all. That's whatever David's using to drive that stuff. And those labels, you can have a bunch of labels as part of one singular pup display. Whereas the, the ways we did it in the old old days of getting around that was trying to use a bunch of individual pup displays for faking things and all that, which is using way more memory and, you know, just way more complicated. So with an original table, you know, using pup labels is the way to add lots of extra bling like that without having to use more than one pup display. Like NGs or whatever of the different light states for a back class and then use the labels to just overlay a PNG rather than yeah, yeah. The like, whole it, screen. like one light could be a, a a label, for example. Yeah, that's it's, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Actually, you know what? Since hey, we are not under any time. What was the um, Alien Poker? Do you wouldn't happen to know what the ROM name for Alien Poker is? No, it's, but you're, I, I think I know what you're talking alien. about that one. That, the one nice uh, B2S uh, with the cards or whatever. Is that yeah, what the one yeah. that the one that uses the pup script at the, yeah. at the pup pack level. I yeah, that was kind of neat. Um, oh, eight ball deluxe. Let's see. One second. That guy was making those for a while. They were like yeah. full DMDs that did. Yeah, that. I well, I did. I I made them. He just. Oh, yeah. No, was... that guy did them. He okay. by himself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, he wanted to do something, and he was using like that, like like Terry was saying, he was using like seven displays, and I'm like, no, 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 here. And I gave him the shell, and I told him just replace your PNGs, and um, 
yeah, that was. I was going to show you star dot. Uh, I don't. Know. Why are you taking credit for other people's work? I don't I, know. I know. Hey, what an ass! What an ass! Okay, I, I can't. I don't know what eight ball deluxe. Uh, poker P K R. What would be the? I'm just guessing at ROM names here. Uh, Alien poker is probably A. I started with aliens. Alien comes up. Probably like A P K R or something. Yeah. I just Google Alien Poker ROM real quick. You're the one. You're at a computer. I got things going on. <laughs> it's uh, A L P O K. Al Al Poke. A L P O K. A L. Oh my windows. A L P O K L six. There it is. Yep. And. Uh, huh. I got the old version that doesn't have the script in it. Oh, well. What's the other one? The 8-ball one. I don't know. You don't know what the 8-ball one is, right? The old 8-ball I bet one. I can Google it. 8-ball. <laughs> 8-ball eight. Eight Deluxe? Yeah, I don't know. No, I don't know. Okay, I, I'm looking for 8-ball Deluxe. E-ball DLX. Uh, here, I found it. All righty. So here, this is what I want to show you. So if you wanted to get into... Uh, Do you see? Do you see my screen? I don't know if it's legible. Yeah, we can read it. Yeah. So this is what. So all he did is so he made these label news, and uh, so he, he he actually. Oh yeah, that's using the uh, external uh, ABS script files. Wow. Yeah. So I had him. I set up all the label news for him, and he put. And then so and then um, I did a sub display refresh pup close. And then all it does is all the red, all ROM events end up here. All right, so check it first event. I do a first run, and then all the logic is right here. Oh, pretty much this is it. Look, I know you can tell Terry can know this. Uh, you're pup- bringing nightmares. You're bringing nightmares back. <laughs> I'm just seeing Tron Pup Edition all over again. I'm like, no, God, <laughs> no, no. This is table script. This is table script. This is like I know, I know. That's what I'm talking about. The, yeah. ta- the old table script version where I had to use all the light states to recreate the game logic. Yeah, it's like, yeah, oh, yeah. It's, it's flashing back to nightmares. So yeah, he had to see what he did. He's uh, so this just sets uh, K P and G, which you know, and he set the position and the height and the align and the X pose, Y pose. It works. But anyways, Harry, I, how does it how does it feel to have made the Tron pup and then know that you peaked right at the beginning? <laughs> well, well, if I was to do it today, I would probably do it very differently. But you know what I mean? It's it's one of those things. that's like. Yeah, sometimes the the theme drives uh, the inspiration more than anything. Yeah, you you nailed that pup. Like it, that's hands down the best pup that's ever been made. Like, like there's been times where I spent way more time. Well, okay, Tron's different because there's been like what three or four different versions over the years. You know, so the the very first version is very different from the second one from compared to the last one and all that. But uh, you know, I've had other pups where I spent way more time on the actual also, pup, but it, but it was a pain in the ass. Because I'm trying different or new things, right? So what was also cool about it was the replacing the ROM music. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh yeah. So like not it... only did it do that, but it, it improved the ROM music and sounds, which was like crazy. Yeah, it was all like yeah. that built-in alt alt ROM. Yeah, it was awesome. Well, well, that's, well that's, that was a thing. Like I, I was asking because I, I was trying to see if there was ways to do an alt sound, but then when uh, Rob DJ Rob X. Uh, explained to me that well sterns are different well stern sams are different because they don't use a separate audio board whereas all the most of the other systems do that's why they can work with pin sound and uh you can't do that for the stern sam and i was like was there any way to somehow just mute the audio somehow like you know in the table script and he's like well no you can use a uh what the hell is that damn program to uh the i can't remember what the hell you know the program pinball browser thank you fuck He's blanking out here. But uh, yeah, what, what he said, you can mute any audio on that or replace it, but it has to be the same length audio. But I'm like, but you can mute it? And he's like, yeah. I was like, oh, frick. Well, then as soon as I heard that, I was like, well, every Stern table now can have the music replaced just by using pop capture triggers because Sterns are really good for the DMD display, for giving you good control for most things. Not all tables are really great for that, but the Sterns are pretty good for it. They're consistent. They're, they're very much the same from table to table. And they, they show simple text-based stuff for so many things 
that it was like, yeah, this is perfect for the music. I mean, this is going to work. You don't have to do any, you know, using lights or switches or any other stuff to control most of that or any of it at all. And yeah, that, that worked out perfect. So after that, I was like, fuck yeah, hell yeah. This is so much better. Cause a lot of older tables are amazing. It's just the sound quality is just terrible. You know what I mean? Like the mono sound is 22 hertz thousand hertz i think you know what i mean and it's not a matter of you know saying why well, clips I... when it gets too loud too yeah exactly you know so it's not like when i say i don't like i hate older sound it's not that i hate the original sound it's just the quality of the sound it's more my thing than anything else and when it comes to licensed music well that's a limitation as well right they're only allowed to use so much on some of those pins so you're not going to get as much of the original soundtrack music but you know i mean some of the older music i like the original size music is just the sound sampling is so terrible and it's the night and day difference for some of those you know it's not a matter of just oh yeah everything old is crap and i want to replace all of it it's just you know for some of it it's a night and day difference all right what is this oh this is just a sample t- <laughs> <laughs> How do I? Uh, I can't. Wait, 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 I can't. Dark, move dark, move. Darkest F fourteen combat. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what is going on? <laughs> I gotta figure out how to get my display. Hold on, I gotta make my my. Uh... Herb, how is uh, Darkest Dungeon going? Uh, I think most of the modes are done and working. It's just the wizard mode, and then you've got to figure out the lighting that uh, Merlin was asking about earlier. So. Good question. By by Christmas. Probably. <laughs> I was hoping it was going to be like a three week thing when I first started it. So it was going to be a reskin. <laughs> that that changed fast. What is it a reskin of? I forgot. Uh, Wrath of Olympus, oh, along with right. the three hundred yeah. other ones. Which yeah, that kind of. I forgot that that happened. <laughs> Can can I move the game player? It's supposed to hit escape. Isn't hitting escape uh, supposed to make it movable? Uh, yeah. uh, go into it and then uh, hit escape and then go back into it again. Yeah, like, yeah, and that's the way you're supposed to bring up the form, but it's not working. Uh, try resizing it in the corner and see if that does anything by chance. But normally that does. But again, I haven't tried it on the newest VP update, so I'll, I'm not sure about the newest ones. Oh, that sucks. It's it's Are you auto, trying to it's do? Auto, okay. No, you had it. Oh, I had it. Okay, hold that's, on. I think it, yep. you got to Q got first. It. Yes, that's what it was. I knew there was something. I was like, oh, it's been so long since I had to, but yeah. Okay, then you hit resume. There you, there you go. That's okay. There you go. All right. So let's talk about some cool stuff. I was just showing you. So you saw what we did before. That was pup pack stuff. Now we're getting into the cool stuff. The table script pup DMT. So what? What? What we now we have? Can I bring up the script? No. Why is the script not coming up? That sucks. When you do, um, and when you do alpha, um, ENGs, uh, the aliasing doesn't matter, right? You can use aliasing. Oh yeah, no, it's alpha. Uh, yeah, it's it's not like a, for example, a, a VPX playfield image where right. you know it's not nothing like that at all. It's just a normal. You do whatever you want, and it will just work. Okay, cool. Yeah, so, so for al- alpha blending, alpha the colors, everything. Uh, yeah. When, when Popper added that support a while back, uh, you know, I, I, I went nuts and tried doing that on like every display uh, with videos and with multiple PNGs and stuff like that. And yeah. How, it does it, how, how does it handle with resizing? Like obviously like what he's doing right now, if a desktop user is going to – you know, use 25% of the screen or whatever. Do you uh, ever see weird issues with the edges getting like... Yeah. Uh, that's... I, it, it's better than it used to be, I think. for the I think the alphas are better than the older overlays used to be. Because I know way back, you know, like you would you would kind of, you know, if if, uh, if it was a rescaled to an oddball size, uh, you know, you could have... Like, I'll use Popper as an example. You know, like uh, the Popper wheel arc. Uh, if that was resized to say 2K, even though it was originally a HD image, you know, you might see some weird aliasing on that. But I think that's not the case as much anymore. 
It's a lot, a lot better than it used to be, I think. Yeah, I mean, obviously, rescaling does take CPU cycles. And if you're going really small into, like, a small, small... Like, normally, you want to make them all 1920 by 1080, right? Um, when you're starting to get them all down to, like, 320 or, what is it, 220 pixels um, for desktop, I, I don't know. It. Uh... If you're talking, like, a, a full-size, say, overlay, like, the whole screen overlay, well, then, yeah, you'll just make that your normal HD resolution anyway. Uh, if you're talking, try to use smaller individual, say... You don't want to scale up, obviously scaling yeah, down. Yeah, is, yeah is... You want, you, but you want to try to match the size as best as possible, like using... That's what that's what I was asking, is yeah. like, if you're gonna, like if those figures are gonna be that size on that screen, exactly. and you know, yeah. and you're aiming for full HD, then you should size those figures to exactly. what they would be. Don't make them, don't make the figure 1080p. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's better to make it. a good example. Like I think uh, they made the original AP and G's uh, not the same size as, you know, they would have been on the screen, if you will. Like they, they were a higher resolution, I think, actually. Uh, yeah, I think. You know, well, yeah. I think those in general. Let me see. What did I? I, I that was yeah. just a test one I put in there. That's usually. Uh... Yes, yeah, but yes, Astro. That's the idea. Is that, that that's exactly what I usually try to do as well. Uh, I, you know, like if I, uh, like for Sonic, nope. for example. Like they'll Sonic. look better at native size than yes. shrinking them down. Okay. Oh, yeah, and you like definitely want to stick to, like, I would say everything, this is another thing I was going to get into, is when you're doing 19 by 20, you really want to make sure any icons or graphics, you're putting them in at 100% width. Like, right now, that one, I had it to, um, I had it to 9, uh, sorry, 50. That's why it looked like that. But watch, if I put it back to 100%. Oh, you're talking about if, Using the the percentage, the newer percentage values. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. You you really want to make sure that your 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 graphics don't rescale in normal yeah. mode. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yep, yep. I think we're we're all kind of the same same thing. Uh, if you look at Sonic as an example, uh, the individual like uh, the, the the gems or uh, the power ups or whatever like that, those are all individual labels, but they're not full screen size labels. They're basically the exact size of what, what you see on the screen because Sonic is actually using a background video with all those images, uh, you know, half bright or half tone yeah, to make I, it look like they're not selected. But then the PNG labels that go over top of them, uh, it's not like a 1920 by 1080 PNG with, with only that little graphic. It's basically still the exact same size scaled exactly to match as close as possible. Well, that is that is the proper AR. Terry would like that. Yeah. That 90% was yeah. the actual. Um, <laughs> so I know Herb Ski is like, show it right, show it right. Yeah, AR means everything. <laughs> All right, so um, now that we're getting into labels, uh, now I don't know how Astro has seen or not seen, but here, um, I don't know if you can read the text at 720p, but really there's two things you do. You create label image or create label, which are text objects. So there's really two things that you create, labels and objects. Um, now, I used to get, I, I'm trying to make it simplified because I know people get hung up on pages. So I, I think maybe we should talk about pages uh, secondary and just talk about everything you see here like see this number five that's a that's a text object um, the the jewel behind it that's another text object uh, that's a graphic object so picture we I call them labels but everything can be every label can be an image or a text but in general everything is a label object however you want to refer to it as even the HUD is yeah. a, 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 a label Right. So um, just so uh, you could see the new framework, I made a whole uh, where. So if you can read this, like I have like all these, these, these helper files, uh, sorry, helper subs. So if I go into debug mode, um, you guys are seeing this in real time, I guess. But see right now I'm calling uh, DLD label hide credits. Did you see what it did? Simple. Do, do that again. I, <laughs> I, I was looking at the debugger, not the actual puppet. Yeah, so I'll go into the debugger. This one, oh, crap. Uh, this one gives you, you don't have hide or show. It's just set visibility. So I can set visibility one on, zero off. Oh, there one you go. on, zero off. Okay. Um, now let's say I want to do um, alpha. That's something that's cool. 
So I'll go into debug mode and I will set alpha to 100. Ooh. Let's say if I wanted to do the one behind it, which I believe is called uh, Jewel. Is it called Wait, why would 100 be? It's zero, it's zero to 255. Oh, okay. I was C like, what? C Jewel. So the, even the, now I did the, uh, the Jewel at 100. Nice. Right? Uh, let me put it back to max, which is 255. And I can put the the other one, which is, what is it called again? Credits. So, for example, uh, actually, a great example would be, again, Sonic. Instead of me having to bake that into the background video uh, for the gems or anything else that's not currently selected or active, you would just go into do the command, like David said. The, the, the labels would all be there, but... I would just change the transparency of the label instead of having to, you know, you know what? fake it in video is what, a, you know, it's another yeah. way of doing it. You know what uh, I just immediately thought of would be the perfect use for that feature is if somebody made a Back to the Future table and the timer could be the photo fading. It fading, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that's another thing we can have. What is, uh, look at this. Uh, 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 what do we have? We have pulse text. Let's pulse text. Do I have? Pulse so this would this would be these sorts of uh, commands would be good for health bars too, right? Yeah, yeah we, we we were just talking about that the other day, actually. Yeah. Oh, exactly. I, I, that green on green didn't work, but let me say uh, CL oh, the pulsing blue. But yeah, so that pulse is basically like a the zoom. The and you, you, I even have a, I even have a uh, get this. Look at this one. This one's cool. This is super duper new stuff here. Just a red oh, it's on green. Yeah. I have to put. I have a green outline with a green. Oh, it counts. Nice. Yeah. So let's go. CL blue. Obviously, so you know, on a end of ball bonus screen, and you could specify the the factor. Everything you see is through the the JSON. You could say, oh, show me um, faster speed. Uh, make the increment faster. Like, and, and oh, each, see, that's good because like, yeah, normally we, we use like, the timer look, before. Yeah, like see right now, like looks, yeah. I can do the same number but do it over one second. You know what yeah, I mean? I can do the, I could do yeah. the same thing over four seconds, and see how it counts slower. Mm -hmm. So that the, over four, you know, over four seconds, it it did the one thousand. These so, commands only work with text. No, text no, based. no, no. I can. Uh, well, no, I did but, the the jewel. The jewel I did. Uh, I uh, I can. What do you want to show? I can pulse. Well, I'm just wondering how if you had to implement a health bar, how would you do it? Um, well, a couple of things. It depends on how you want to do the health bar. Uh, I would like personally, personally, I would bar. do. I personally, I would make an uh, um, an alpha PNG, animated yeah. PNG, and then uh, each frame would be animated, and then you could say play this or set frame. In part of the animated, so one label, one image label could have ten frames, a hundred frames. Maybe you want to animate ninety to eighty. Then you could you, drain it in like you know, real time. In real time, yeah. you could set the frame. You could play when you now with this new. You, I do a lot of great stuff with the animated PNGs. You can actually specify loop between these two. Don't loop, but play between these two frames. So you can get really fancy. Uh, let me just do pulsing. Uh, let me pulse the jewel behind it. The the advantage there was is that uh, because the PNG is preloaded, uh, instead of having to preload it each time, you know, uh, you can then just play only half the frames, like he said, or because you could have one big long animation with kind of all the stuff you need in it, and then it's always there ready to go in memory. It doesn't have to be cached or preloaded or reloaded or anything like that. But then you can just choose to put, play, you know, a portion of the, the the help bar, like you said, if you want. If you want it to be animated instead of just increments, you know, you you could have it uh, just. But also, you it, could download. you can set the width. You could use stretching, right? The, the the cheap method is you have a long bar and you set twenty yeah. percent the bar. You set forty percent width, thirty percent width, and you but just you kind of you uh, kind of mimic a, a square box. Sorry, a stretched. You know, like the old school style. You would stretch a rectangle. And like 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 mad scientist with a, the bubbling uh you know uh green goop or something like that and every time you drain it goes down or your bonus or you know let's say what's, you have a hurry, a hurry up mode or something like that right 
what is it called again? An animated PNG? Is that what yeah, well, it's like an animated GIF, animated PNG. Animated PNG does support alpha um, blending, so it's yeah. There, but you can do P, uh, animated GIFs as well. Whatever. Um, the big difference with a uh, GIF uh, is it's only two fifty six colors, which might be whereas, enough, but it's a lot less yeah. resourceful. I it, mean, it if is. you can get away with a GIF, use a GIF. Yeah. Um, I would. Uh, they're For smaller the in size, yeah. and uh, you know, again, you're not going to be, you know, you're not going to be right in front of it to see the detail. Um, and it does support transparency still. Yeah. So, I mean, you yeah, the only thing with, the only thing with gifts are is uh, they're a pain in the butt to work with compared to you know any other media. You know, because yeah. most programs don't support them very great. I still use that. I'm still getting way more screen to GIF. I use it now. It's it's once you get uh, comfortable with the screen to GIF, it's one exe. You can drop MP4s on it. You can drop, and even uh, I've been using FFmpeg to convert green screen videos to animated GIFs, and it works well. So I mean, there's there's tools. Nice. Um, what did I want to get to? Oh, you'll notice here uh, I, I'm doing e, like there's pulse image, which uses the default subs and then EX. Uh, you'll notice. See how it has 7120 at the end. I don't know if you guys can read that. Mm -hmm. what, what that means is go 70 yeah, percent of the height of the font to 120 percent of the height of the font. So if I wanted to make the, the, the zoom go from 20 percent to 80 percent of the font. All right. And then you'll. There it goes 20 to 80. Now, here's where I'm showing that this is what I was getting before. Right now, I have it showing 50% width. So it has already transformed 50%. So when you see me go 20 to 80, you notice it actually got bigger than what it looked like. That's why it's important that when you do a, 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 a normal PNG that it comes in at 100% size. Does that make sense? Yep. Because you, you want the default state to be 100% size. So there's no scaling for performance. And when you say go 80 to 100 or, or one, I want to I wanna pulse quickly between 90 and 120, that it actually looks proper when you're doing it. Um, so I'm not going to go through all these, but you can get some cool... Um, rotate, rotate. Rotate. Which would, uh, rotate, yeah, rotate text. Um I want. I should do it on the bigger text. I should. Right now, I'm doing it on the smaller text. So I'll do that. Uh, oh, this debugger. Uh, rotate credits fifty percent. Oh, there you can see it. But you know what? Why don't I just do this? Set pose credits. Look what I'm going to do. Set pose credits. Ah. Give you time. Wow. Let me let me move it up. Um. Is there an animated rotate? I can't remember if you had that uh, a sub a sub helper for that. Animate rotate? Yeah. Hold on, let me see something here. Oh crap, that's not the one that I wanted to do. <laughs> I rotated the. Um, uh, what did I want to do here? We want to do credits. Zero. There we go. Okay. Uh, sorry. Animate rotate. Uh, no, there's no animate rotate. But I guess okay. you could. Uh, you could do a timer. And you could do it in a timer. Time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, pulse number. I showed you. Animate GIF. Uh, do I have it? Here's an animated GIF. Let me show you what I was talking about. So animated GIF. Oh yeah. There. Let me. Um, let me hide. What's it called to hide? I have to remember all these new things I did. So can you use, apply the rotate to like a, an APNG and a GIF as well? Or? Yeah, like I was going to show okay. you that. So visible, oh, okay. let me do a healer, I think I called it. Done, yeah. Okay, good. So that's a huge deal because I can... So do you see what I'm doing here? So yeah. that's an animated PNG. Um, and I'm, I'm doing it at 30 frames per second. I could slow it down and say do 100, so 10 frames a second. So you see it's doing 10 frames a second. I don't know if you guys are seeing in real time, but... Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, so let's say I wanted to, I think this should work. I should uh, rotate that animation. Let me see if that works. Uh, whoa. Rotate, uh, it's called C GIF. Again, this is because I'm shrinking it down. But yes, that's based on 100%. It's rotating 50. That's cool. Because that could be handy for like, uh, you know, if you want to do 
uh, you know, the good old uh, Stern style bumpers, uh, splash pop ups or yeah. whatever like that. And you want them to rotate around and then, for extra effect, uh, zooming in and out while rotating around. You know, yeah, like how you can I can combine it all and and even let's see animated GIF. Let me do the alpha on it. Great, crazy idea. I know there's uh, two different things. Oh, I don't nice. know if you can see it there. But yeah, there, yeah, one, you can one, barely see it. One hundred is pretty much. You can't add uh, outline of any sort to a PNG or a GIF, can you? No. Uh, I, I think you could. Uh, you know, no, I didn't no. know if it was one of those things where they, you know, they have a base color for whatever's on the edge, and it could do that. But yeah, I know that's a yeah, that's a that's a more big of a, that's that, that's more <laughs> of a VPE thing. <laughs> yeah, that's a big. Uh, <laughs> what I want to show you, uh, Astro, you like this? Um, credits, blue, green, gradient. Woo. That's what I'm. Uh, the gradient with the outline is what I'm like most yeah. excited about. And then, I'm real impressed. And then that's, that's the one thing that every time I'd see a newer pin on Stern or Spooky or whatever, and I'd see that I'm like, oh man, if you know, if we could get to that point, you know, and boom, you know, here we are. Let me set the like, border here. On ah, uh, oh, come on. So that's an example, actually. Oh, uh, it's it's not. Hold so on. the overlay for F14, you can see there that the, the middle bottom part there where the, normally the score is shown up. So that's a, a good example where I could uh, make the alpha blend work with the pup DMD label. Oh, so yeah, see, Herbsky did it. So, well, I know, but back then I couldn't. Uh, so that's why with that, it, it looks weird because I just basically added, uh, you know, like a scan lines to try to recreate that as best you can and in full hd it looks fine it actually has a good effect but the problem with that is as soon as you scale it well then and you know you know like with retro games uh it screws up the scan lines right and that's why it looks like looks like ass basically as a result uh whereas now with a with an alpha you could do a proper blended you know scan line whatever you want right and actually have it animated now with a pulsing you know uh crt effect if you want you know, now, what uh, about um, what about uh, like animating, animating a PNG as an overlay? Like, if I wanted to fire bullets across the screen, that that should be that should be totally yeah. Well, I if mean, you so no, good. if you use the program like uh, Screen to GIF, like you can just set each frame and set the positions of things, and you would just play the animation, right? Oh, just like make a 1080p. Yeah, oh, I wouldn't do a 1080p. Maybe a, a, a 1080p GIF, Ugh. but you could move. You, I mean, you're not limited. I mean, you can move and set the position of anything, right? So you can make a timer and script that I just can't, moves I can't remember. It, right? uh, didn't uh, I can't remember? Did Batman 66 uh, do that for some of the? Yeah, he uh, had to have. Yeah, he had to have. Yeah, right? His, I, I think he, for some of the like when the Batmobile moves across or so, stuff like that. I think he did that. I, I can't remember for sure if he did that or not, but I'm pretty sure that's what he did. Then you have stuff like let's see if this. How did Terry? How did you make? Oh, actually, I probably know how you made it. It was probably just a video, less impressive than I thought. I was gonna say, how did you make the blood the blood come down in Jaws? But it was probably just a video. Yeah, those are all just background. Uh, oh, you're talking about like uh, for the DMD display? Yeah, that's just a background video. Yeah, when yeah. The, when you die and the, it's covered. Yep. Yeah. I did, yeah, I didn't have the. Didn't have those options back then. I mean, I could have, well, okay, I could have used a transparent video, but I stayed completely away from those because they're not. Yeah, they're not 100%. Yeah. Yeah, like depending on the person's monitor and their video drivers, it may or may not work correctly. Just like Popper, right? You see it all the time with the, the arc wheels and all that. It, it works great. It does work. But, you know, using a proper PNG or a GIF with a label, which we didn't really quite fully have way back then. Uh, I, I'm talking in the older versions of Jaws and all that. But uh, whereas today, frick, yeah. Like, like, there's a motion here. Like this is, I mean, it's not, you could you could specify where to put it, but yeah, you can make a bullet come across. I mean, if you can do it in video, it's still, like, you know what I mean? Like if it works in video and there's no reason to not use it in video, it's still going to be more efficient hey, to do it that way. Can it start off the screen? Yeah, so see at the see the last two numbers? So I'm doing horizontal, right? So the first number is where to start from. Zero means current position. Then you can go uh, uh, one would be right. Minus one would be off screen to the left. So if I do this, did you see that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. How, how, how does it look? Make it like four times as fast, though. <laughs> yeah, you can. Just got to make this, uh, I don't know, 500? Now the one thing to keep in mind is did, did you uh, see it? It worked. Yeah, it did actually. 
That's uh, what I'm taught. Yeah, so I could make like a bullet with a yep. trail behind it. Yeah, with an alpha. To fire them. That yeah. took one, that's one second. And with an alpha now. Like whereas before with a GIF, you could only do it with 256, 256 colors, whereas now with an APNG, you could add a, tr a smoke trail effect or whatever. You know what I mean? Like a, Why is a it bullet. going down first? Oh, well, normally you would actually not even have that visible at all. Like, this is because we're doing – normally you would have the state of – you would set visible like of – moving it from – No, like, yeah, like yeah. watch. So if I go see Jewel, this is another thing I was going to talk about. You're going to have a lot of things where they're there, but they're only there once the animation kicks in. But, yeah, it is flashing there, which is weird. I'd have to see that. But, yeah um, – could be the helper function, just uh, repositioning it each time or something. But yeah, I'd have to see. But I, uh, I could always set pose off screen, anyways. But yeah, let me see. You're almost every day. Did you say you can pause a GIF at a certain frame? Yes. Yeah, so you can. Um, so let's say we. Okay. So right now, you notice the. Let me put the anim alpha back so you could see it. Okay. So we have what is called. Um, uh, oh, there it is, right there. Actually, I made I made one right there for you. It's called. Um, uh, I don't know if you can see. It's called uh, show frame. So it's show frame five, and I can show frame ten. I don't know if you guys are noticing it. Yep. It was zero. Yep. Two. And, and that's a, that is a, that's a good ask about that because that's a big deal because I know, you know. Uh, Sometimes you do just want, say, a, a simple video for a HUD or something like that to play through and then stay on a last frame, for example, instead of going away, or, you know, yeah. and, or, or instead of have, feeling like you have to have it loop somehow. So, with, yeah, uh, so uh, actually, so know. this is this is the, the extended version. So this, ex oh, God, this extended version is uh, start frame, end frame, and whether or not to loop it. So I'm going to do three to nine and loop. I don't know if you notice it's, right it's back, different. By the way. Yeah, okay. Do you notice how it's different now? Yep. So I'll go like three to four and loop. Oh, does it make sense? Uh, three to ten. Three to ten loop. And then I can say, don't loop. So just play three to ten, right? And I just say, and then it'll just stop. Now I'm trying to remember. Uh, you, you said that uh, normally uh, P and G and Jeff are dynamically loaded, but I think. Well, they they're all everything is always loaded. The um, uh, what is changed is now if you uh, call the media, uh, so I don't know if you like, can see like it. Minus one or whatever. No, no. So so if your your media ends, so if you go, um, that's uh, what it was. Yeah. You, so you, so to cache to cache a, a, a media. Yeah. Um, not MP4s. This is like for animated GIFs and stuff. And, and, and that geez, would be, yeah. uh, let's say you do, I don't know, C Jewel, and you go underscore PNG like that. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah. So basically, anything being used with a label, you can now pre cache it. It's the bottom line. Right. Whereas before, whereas before it would always dynamically. Well, load it. no. Uh, well, I mean, if you had your own, if you changed it, right? Like if you made a label oh, and loaded great. it, uh, it true. it's in memory, right? Unless you were to use the same label and have different. You know, so yeah. it was it is still kind of cash so i don't know if that is needed um it would be needed like say you're doing bullets and you have five of them and you want 10 of them or if you have you know big bangs and you want to put like 10 of them across the screen uh yeah. then yeah maybe the underscore would work because then you're not grabbing from the hard drive yeah yeah that, 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 yeah no that's a good clarification because yeah I, I was always thinking along the lines of you know if you changed the media for that label yeah. dynamically as things go on or whatever but you know, if you create, that's the beautiful thing about labels. You can create technically as many as you want for whatever you want and then have them all visible or not visible. And then that way you can have everything pre-cached and yep. ready to go so that it's faster, more efficient, all that good stuff. And then uh, that way, you know, it's you don't have to worry about most of that. And then uh, you can now with these new functions, you know, have say a, a big, continuous, bigger PNG or uh uh Jeff yep. preloaded pre cash and then you could just play portions of it as needed but instead of you know what like the older methods where it, it may still be fine in most cases it would be but you know if you have a lot going on it may take a half second to a second depending on how fast the hard drive is how fast the computer is yeah whereas whereas now having this all pre cached in 
for you know a lot of the main stuff i mean you know <laughs> i mean you could get crazy if you really wanted to but you know i mean this is not meant for big long chunky videos it's meant more for the images uh, and huts yeah uh, yeah um, Herbsky, I wanted to show you, um, and this is, I think people get confused a lot with pages, that you technically don't need pages. I mean, you don't. Um, for me, I think pages should be seen, I think, am I, uh, do I, do I have this listed on this one? Let me see. I think um, the way you mentioned it before, and I think it's kind of how I sort of did it, uh, but I veered off at times was you could have, for example, an attract mode. Yeah. Like look here, these are the ones that are defaulted. I put in the, in the, for, in the um, framework. So you have DMD blank, which is zero scores, which is your main score page, your main page. You have an attract page, end of ball, a high scores an enter high scores, a jackpot and an other. And that's pretty much all you would ever need. Cause really you could put a lot of the labels hidden on your score page. Right, like for example, like say I have here, I and oof, I have to scroll down here. I have, um, I made one called Splash, right? Like I have, I have a Splash, and it's defaulted to not visible, so it's there. It just you don't see it. And then you can make functions that just call Splash. Like here's a sample of splashing a hidden label, and so a message text, time sec, and color. So watch, I'm just gonna copy this, so I can go here. And go like splash, flash. Oh, I call it splash. Flash. You can call it whatever you want. A splash, flash, and then go a uh, uh, jackpot, and go for three seconds and color green. Right, and see what. And, and then you could special specify. Do you want it to flash? Do you want it to pulse? So I, without using different pages, because I could, because I know with full DMD, a lot of people may want to keep the scoring, might want to keep the ball. So like what used to be 4-1 where you'd want to hide a lot of stuff with with full dmds you know i did a, another one called show big which is two lines so again this is not switching pages so i can go uh nine well, whatever you did awesome all right and then um it would be for three seconds and we'll do this red now that one, oh, that one did a page. So that shows you the difference with page and not pages. So if you notice, we, we switched page there. That was my, so this is sample of page splashing on page four. Now you notice things like, and this, this is a good thing, when you do switch pages, and this is why it's important when you set on labels what the default visibility is. So the default visibility is when the page is first shown, whether or not that item is shown by default or not, because you'll notice the like the 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 uh, the elephant went away, because that is by design. Because the elephant is like a temporary thing; it's normally off. You did something, you showed it. Now you're going to another page. When you come back, you don't want the um, temporary labels to be showing. So it's it, I, it comes back to its initial yeah. state. Yeah, I think uh, in, uh, now maybe it's changed with your newer stuff, but uh, with the original framework, PubDD framework, uh, you basically had it set up so that I think it was a uh, page zero or scores was the default. So anytime you switch to another page to display, I say a splash text or something like that, uh, when that was done, it would then, you know, it automatically made zero, like the way you had the framework set up, it would make zero hidden. When you were done splashing whatever text you want, then that yeah, that's that's exactly what it away. does. So if you notice here, like right here, I have it set for four seconds. Uh, well, it depends how the time is. So you would say show page four for 2,500 milliseconds, and they would go back to whatever current page you were on. Yeah. Right? Um, so that's how splashing of pages works. That yeah. That's a, a good point. Yeah, because I, I think just by default, I've always been so used to setting current page as the score is one, right? Because like you said, it's the one that most of the time is what everyone's going to be using. Right. And when you want to do a splash, you're usually not switching back to a but if, I, But that confuses but people. Can. That's why you really don't, oh, if, you if you don't have too many things, you can, you can just, uh, like I did here, uh, just, you know, splash a label that's currently on your scores page. Like if you just yeah. have like three or four, um, you know, like, I, like I, like I have here, like I have a splash, um, Oh, and I did a, oh, I did a thing as well. So I did a pulse, 
So this is just an essay. These aren't really part. These are just samples. But here, I did a splash pulse and go uh, uh, pulsating. I do it for three seconds and make it blue. So this pulsating one. So that 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 is a label that's on the scores page. It's just normally it's off, and yeah. I just made it show through an animation. I, I, again, I, I always call back to easy references because it's the one that most people may have seen but like for example sonic mm. uh if you know what that display looks like where i have the gems at the top the power-ups at the bottom uh the text in the middle all of that are different labels on the same scores page even though they're graphs some are graphics some are just fonts uh and uh but just like he's showing you there i can just have one of them be visible or not visible on that same page even though they're separate graphics separate labels but they're still the same page right when i do a splash video for example uh that will automatically now in that in some cases i'm using the at symbol with uh, the video file and that will automatically hide the main current page you know while the video is playing when the video is done it then brings back that current page uh again with whatever whatever labels were that to be visible or whatnot though Depending, uh, I, I think so you have to possibly refresh depending on what you had going on while the video was playing. Uh, and that's where that uh, Pup D&D update timer, I think, was intended for that, was uh, to kind of just refresh your main scores page in case something changed in the meantime while a video was playing. Like, you know, right. you may like get, you may get ball locked or, some, or if you got multiple, who knows what's going on? You may have multiple things going on in the game and uh, something may have changed on your HUD for what you normally display, like how many balls you got or, uh, you know, health or who knows what, right? You know, and I, that's why the that main timer that David had on the framework, I think that's what that was kind of intended for, was to kind of just make sure that stuff got re refreshed after events were done and uh, the splash was done. Yep. The, um, like the, the, the what's new Terry in this one, which you're not, which is new, I guess, is yeah, we have no, what's called not... we have we we have page minus one. Yeah, that's why I thought. I, uh, yeah, the so one there. the minus one is ones that'll that don't actually they appear always, or you have to manually like if you make something visible, like the the HUD is on negative one. It's there regardless of any page I show. It's always being displayed. You can put other items, like say you have a QR code. And mm -hmm. you could put it on minus one, and you have to manually set the visible and and invisible, but it will appear regardless of what the current page is. Now, will that be affected by an at media file like at MPEG four? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. So, so when you use the at symbol, then yes, it hides the HUD, so it hides the entire display. Okay. So it, it's just it's just it's a negative one page. But like I, if I go here and I can say set visible. So now you always have your, 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 I think it's called P background. P background. So P background is a label that's on minus one. You see what I'm doing there? So I just, I, I treat it like any other label. I can actually, uh, I probably, let me try rotating it. What'll happen? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, testing. Uh, oh, actually, yeah, yeah it did kind of work. I guess. Yeah. It's just a matter of the positioning. The, yeah, the I guess the, the positioning is off. Now, that's a good question. You were asking about okay. this. Oh, actually, let me see. 180. Let me see. 180 should work. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was going to say because uh, you weren't sure if uh, the justification or alignment. Yeah, you. Yeah, I was going to say that Yeah, when it comes to rotation, you want to make sure everything is center aligned center. and nothing else yeah. Nothing else will work with even zooming and stuff. You we just want and everything. It's just easier to deal with center alignment. Like even when you're doing scores and you're dealing, there's really I don't think there's any need for left justifications or right justifications. Like they're there, but I can think of some. But I can think of some. But it depends on how creative you want to get. Yeah. But <laughs> so yeah, I just rotated 180 and that worked. Like imagine, like for example, you have a, an image of a, a say a jet, like kind of like in the HUD there, the top down view of the jet in the corner there. Let's say that you had that as a, a standalone image and you had justification on, let's say, right or left, and then you chose rotate, it would make it look like the jet was flying around in a perimeter. Oh, no, no. You actually, you can't rotate. Uh, you never could, and you still can't. You can't rotate on a left justified. Okay, that's uh, what I, because you weren't sure about that before. Yeah, right? no, you can't. Yeah, it's just okay. it's not possible. 
Yeah, because that's that's I was gonna say that would have been a use case scenario where you want to do something silly like I that. I think you can do it with text though. I yeah. think text, uh, maybe. I you know what? I know. Uh, I I'm trying to remember because I spent hours testing this. So um, you can justification works, but only at the 90, 180, and two seventy. Once you okay. start, once it becomes a um, different size, then all yeah. the alignment gets out of whack. Yeah, as you say, that, that becomes a complicated math. Because test. you, it, because yeah, the math and the matrix math and all that stuff. Math we'll wait for v, We'll wait for VPE. <laughs> my math can kiss my ass. I hate. Yeah, it. exactly. <laughs> um, wow. So there's there's a lot of stuff in the command reference now. Um, where so this uh, might sound stupid. If you wanted uh, I know, a label to pulse and fade out, would you just make one new sub with both those? I don't like... believe... I think you can only do one animation per object at a time. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. I think that gets way too complicated when you could pulse, fade spin and move <laughs> at once well yeah because that, those are just basically individual pop, uh, pop messages correct so well if, no because i mean the way the the way it works because the way it works is it actually makes a copy it's just well, now we're getting more technical but anyways when you say do something because you could actually do something that damages the original it makes a instant copy does stuff and then kills itself when it's finished the animation yeah, you mean like the graphic? Is what like the mean. graphic, the mood, yeah. like the zoom, like, like there's certain, not everything, but like pulsing doesn't do that. Uh, no, it's not pulsing, but the fading alpha doesn't. But some things require it to make a, a instant copy of itself. Oh, crap. And I, then, didn't, real, I yeah. didn't realize that everyone could share their own screen. I saw the Astro bringing up his thing there. <laughs> I didn't realize everyone could oh, share their own screen. Oh, I didn't yeah. realize that either. We can't yeah. do audio though, so oh well. Uh, oh, no, yeah. I. I oh, can. you can. You can because you're doing VPX, yes. You can't. Yeah. Virtual machines, you can't. Well, no, I can because I'm using voice meter banana. Oh, I should get into that then. <laughs> yeah, I said that. I, I know, but I thought you were just making a sexual joke. <laughs> and then this <laughs> is, uh, I'm awesome. using, and then I'm sharing, I'm not using screen share. I'm using my, uh, I'm using the OBS virtual camera, yeah. which is what you, you should have done. Shut up. I was trying to, I was trying to, well, I was trying to get the, uh, that's usually what I use when I chat with Manu or whoever else on stream. Just the old, oh, yeah, I thought I camera. should, Ampa was saying, I don't play this enough. So I was <laughs> like, all right, I'll show it to the guys talking about. Oh, I, I think it's miss. Is it missing your new sides plastics that you were drawing the other day? I haven't added them. They're not done. <laughs> So now Astro is an expert in how all this pup works. So now you'd be like, "Hey, wait! I can change that. I can do that." It's actually very, it's actually very helpful having seen that tutorial because now I can actually yeah. look at what is happening. Yeah, you know? it's like, not, it's not as complicated. I mean, it, obviously, it's complicated because you're not, no one's taught it. But once you actually understand the basics of it, obviously, there's more to it. But at least. You can understand what the pup events are, and you can understand in TableScript what things are doing. So why? I don't know if you can see this because it's the screen's kind of small. But how come there's so we have a drop shadow on the score in the center? Yep. Yep. Why is it cut off on the right of the floor? Uh, oh okay, yeah. So you have yeah. it's called padding. So actually, uh, if you this, this, spaces. Do, no, do I have it here? Well, in the new version. Uh, Ooh, there's a know, there's a global there's a global setting called pad all text. Oh, so I don't have to add because before on mine because I had the same. It depended on the font you used, right? Not all of them would do it. Uh, I would manually go into every single command that I issued uh, and add a, a space before and a space after. Before okay. after, and that included the score, anything yep. numerical, whatever. I would add all the extra and quotation marks, space quotation marks on every command and all that. It worked fine, you know. So now there's a – so we don't technically have to do that anymore? Yeah, so you just have thing. to – so I have auto duck here. What do I have? Oh, there it is. PDMD always pad. Nice. Okay. Um, there's also one thing. P uh, set low quality PC. That's important, guys, for – this affects the AA. It really does uh, yeah. make a difference. Yeah, um, I can I, I can see that for sure. Like, uh, I mean, I don't think too many people struggle too much with that, but 
you know, it I could guess if, we, if you get like something yeah. like like uh, Iron Maiden or Batman, where it's a yeah. lot of labels a and lot a lot of stuff, of yeah. stuff then um, because on a smaller display, they're not going to be as yeah. Actually, yeah, when you start doing it on desktop, you could probably set it to low quality, right? Because yeah. you're already yeah, yeah, it was on desktop or maybe even VR, depending on you know. Yeah, you don't uh, need the yeah it? exactly. I mean, it's not that bad. Yeah. Um, like I in wonder, a cabinet with a bigger display monitor in front of you, you might notice it. But yeah, I, wonder, yeah, I think I wonder I can change it on the fly. You may have to update the label to maybe reflect the changes. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't. It's too small, anyways. You probably couldn't even tell. Uh, yeah, you can actually. Did you yeah, notice? Did you uh, notice yeah, that it had squares around the "You Did Awesome"? Yeah, on the on the, the W uh, angles there, you can see it. Here, and then let me see if I put it back. Uh, I'm gonna have to copy. I didn't make one to put it back. Is really there just... a? Uh, and maybe he's already doing this. This is how little I know about Pup D and D. But like for the pop bumper, it makes um, bullet holes in the screen with like a score on it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yep, I guess the stern splash, as, I, as we like to call them. Yeah, is um, is that randomized or is? Or well, you you, you would have to position? do that. You could do that in script, right? I mean, you could just random. You could have five labels hidden, yeah. randomly place them and play the animation if you want, like a little animated GIF of an explosion or just five, if they're static images. But you could actually make little puffs of smoke if you wanted to. Yeah, like like you can have either the preset positions or now. I mean, you can just. If you gotta get fancy, you can dynamically change those positions on one or two or three labels instead of having, say, ten different positions predefined, right? Uh, yeah, you could just take five well, of them and just give random position each, and then play at the same time. So set yeah. pose, and then animate. So so yeah, so you can either have a uh, multiple labels for that for that preset or. Only a, a few of them, and then change the position for each of those dynamically in table. Well, not if they're playing. I mean, it depends. No, if you change a the position, then it'll change on the frame, right? You actually do need five. You actually will need five um, different labels if there's five explosions going at once. No, I know. I understand that. I, I just yeah. meant like you didn't. You didn't have to. Let's like, say you wanted to have uh, twenty possible positions on the screen. Oh they, yeah, they, yeah, so, yeah, exactly. You know, you you could predefine that as separate labels to use. Or you could, like David said, the maximum number you want at one time, you'll have to have at least that many labels and then just change the positions and script dynamically. Yeah. And just, uh, you were, I don't think you were here, but just remember that there's a way to cache files so you don't put stress on a, um, if you add a, uh, if your file name ends, like see this C jewel with an underscore. So if it was C jewel underscore dot PNG, not in the label name, but in the file name, um, it keeps them in memory. So if you were going to load 10 different things or change, I mean, it doesn't make that much sense to do it always. I mean, I was explaining it to Terry, because once you do load an image once into a label, it's there in memory. It's only if you have one image and it's constantly switching that you um, oh. may want to cache it. If the label changes uh, the image or the media over yeah. and over, that's where you'd want it to cache, yeah. Yeah. So quick question about this screen this is like where you select the